This is our PE200 model. This is a very special model here. And the, for, we're going to turn this on and let it boot up. But first I'll explain to you a little bit how it's different. This particular model is made for solar, edge, solar cell edge isolation. Uh, this is the active RF surface. This is a temperature controlled unit. You can see on the bottom here where the coolant lines come in. This is so that we can run this for a long period of time and keep the temperature down from getting too hot. So we're going to go ahead and close this door here. And we'll walk up and get a close up on the screen here. This is the first screen that you'll see when you first boot it up. We'll go into the technician menu on this one. And because we can only get into the configuration when we first boot it up, I want to go there first. And just basically walk you through real quickly on the gas configurations. Uh, this particular machine is set up with two gases. And on this one, it's CF4 and O2. And we have this one set up with a 200cc uh, controller and a 50cc controller with an oxygen uh, correction factor on it. And that's for our customer. We uh, do a lot of customization for our customers, and this is one of those sort of things that we can do. On this one, again, it's a timer configuration. We can have how long the alarm sounds, the gas stabilization, which is the period of time the gas is introduced once it hits its set point before the RF comes on. Atmospheric vent is for how long the uh, vent has to open to bring the chamber up to atmospheric uh, level so we can open the door. Purge vent, that's the amount of time that we allow the vent to open between the pur between uh, the end of the plasma and when we actually allow the chamber to open so that we can purge any nasty gases out. Uh, let's exit out of that. We'll go to the vacuum configuration on this particular machine. We have a thermocouple vacuum sensor. We have the vacuum set point at 200 millitor. We can easily change that if we wanted to. If I wanted to make it 221 just for the heck of it, I'll do that. It uh, doesn't make any difference. Uh, we just generally send them out the door at about a 200 millitor because that's a good place to have them. This one here has set point alarm and it also has a vacuum threshold. As you can see, I've set this one so that if it exceeds 500 millitor, it will alarm and actually shut down. So if it has a fault, it will let you know. The set point alarm will tell you if you do not achieve the set point within that period of time and then it will also alarm and, and let you know that you have a problem. And that's not often, but it's nice to have uh, product safety rather than just sitting there running forever. Uh, this one here, we could uh, have a blower on it, but uh, for a small machine like this, it would be definitely overkill. Uh, vacuum. RF configuration. This is where we tell the machine, or tell the software, what the machine has in the way of an RF generator. This particular one has one that's 300 watts. You can have this particular model with up to 600 watts. That's a very powerful machine in a very small package. Temperature configuration. This one is a temperature control. And the control type on this one is a serial control. It actually communicates with the temperature controller so that we can see on screen what the temperature is in the controller and actually uh, run that from the screen, front screen here. Uh, it also has a high temperature alarm. I have that one set for 100 degrees centigrade. So if it exceeds that point, it will actually shut down and then alarm and let me know. Again, a safety issue. So let's go to the miscellaneous, con uh, miscellaneous configuration. This is where I have set it so that it will skip the cycle off. This is so that it, when it reaches the end of its cycle, it will open the door automatically. We can also select that as a no, and that will uh, make sure that the uh, operator has to come over and push the cycle off button before he can open the door. I'm going to set that one back to yes. Uh, we can set it minutes or seconds, either way. And again, this software is multi-usable. We have it on multiple machines. So on this one, we have it selected for the PE200 so it knows what to look for in the way of inputs and outputs. We can set password levels, we can set the company name. We're gonna exit this, and everything on there is just dandy. We're gonna save it, exit, and we're going to exit this screen again. We're gonna to come to the technician screen. This is where we enter the uh, sequence. We can push the button here, enter, and I can write a sequence. I only have one sequence in there, but I'm gonna write a real quick one here just to show you how that works. I'm gonna name it ABC, enter. And I'm going to give it time. I'm just going to say about six minutes. And let's see, RF, I'm going to give it about 200 watts, just for an example. We're going to select a gas. The only gas I can select, it will tell me that, is CF4, and it has a 90 CAC ability. So we'll enter there. And I'm going to put in about, oh, say about 50 cc's of CF4. And the second gas is O2, and it only allows me to do 50 cc's on that one. So we'll select that, exit. And then I'm going to put in about 10 cc's on that one. And that is, oh yes, and we have to enter a temperature. So let's put in about 30 degrees centigrade, enter, and then we'll save that, exit. And you can see now we have our recipe written on there, and we're going to exit again, exit again. This is the main screen where we came in, enter, 
Now we can turn on our vacuum pump, our RF, our temperature. We'll put it in standby, which puts the vacuum on the chamber. As you can see, it's entered in the screen the first edge isolation one that I had in there. But I'm going to take and enter the one that I just wrote, which is our ABC. I want to load that. And now you can see we have sequence ABC, 6 minutes, 50 cc's, 10 cc's, 200 watts, 30 degrees centigrade. We're all set to jet. So now we're going to press plasma because we've already loaded our uh, process materials in there. And while this is pumping down, I wanted to walk around here and show you the side of the machine. Now this is the guts of it. And you can see we have our contactors, power supplies, we have uh, relays, PLC. This is our gas board, our two mass flow controllers. You can see the solenoids that operate that. Everything is nice and handy and easy to work on. This is a very, very serviceable unit. This is our RF generator. As you can see on the front panel, it is in full, full bore mode. I heard the gas turn on, so let's wander around here and see what's going on. Now this, is, this screen comes up when you first turn this back on, and you can see in there it's kind of a little bit of a bar going on there, but uh, it shows you the actual flows of your gas and what's actually happening inside of the machine. Let's step back around. Actually, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and shut this down. I'm going to cycle it off, and that will vent the chamber. And then we're going to walk around here on this side. I can get it. And on top of the machine, you can see, again, our matching network. And uh, on top of that, the matching network controller. It's a little hard to see because it's behind a panel on the front. But that is actually where we control the uh, matching of the RF to the load. On the back side, you can see on this one, the, the blank off valve is inside the uh, chamber vent valve and the back side of the RF generator. Being as this one is going overseas, this one is actually set up so it runs on uh, 240 volts at 50 hertz. And so to do that, we also have to put a uh, matching or a uh, transformer in here for step down for controls. I can hear that we're just about reaching the point where the chamber is venting to the atmosphere so that we can open the door and voila there it is now the one thing that I didn't show you yet was the temperature controlling unit that's this little puppy down here and this does control the temperature inside of the uh, chamber uh, inside of the electrode and it is controllable from the front screen and I believe sir that concludes other than let's see there's the vacuum pump and that concludes our tour.